How's it going, people? Yeah. Try my luck with this guy here. It rolled out of my fridge and landed on my foot. Let's see if it goes off everywhere. Well, wasn't his will. Looks like I'll just have to drink it. Yeah, some beers, man, that would have been disastrous. Okay. Chapter 8 of Mormon. And, uh, uh, looks like a long and arid chapter. A couple of abominations. Let's do it find out what happened. I mean, there's like 24 Nephites left. Moroni finishes his father's record. After the carnage of Kumora, Mormon among the slain. Lamanites and robbers possess the land. Mormon's record to come out of the earth from under a rock. Conditions and calamities of latter days depicted. So this is a pretty important chapter. This will tell you what to look for to find out if the end times are nigh. One. Behold, I, Mormon, do finish the record of my father. Mormon. Uh, behold. I have but a few things to write. He used a lot of words to say them. Which things I have been commanded by my father. Two. And now it came to pass. There's only one. The beers for company. To the end of the a long work week, which feels like it was a month long. the great and tremendous battle at Kumora. Behold, the Nephites who had escaped into the country southward were hunted by the Lamanites until they were all destroyed. Wait a minute, wasn't there like three uh, Terries? Aren't they like immortal? Uh, I'm sure they'll get one. Three! And my father also was killed by them. And I even and I even remain alone to write the sad tale of the destruction of my people. But behold, they are gone. His fair ones. <laughs> and I fulfill the commandment of my father. <laughs> He's got two dads, I'm sure. One in the sky. And whither they will slay me, I know not. Neither do we. Or, therefore, I will write and hide up the records of the earth. <laughs> and whither I go, it mattereth not. May as well go unto the hill of Cumorah. They won't think to look over all those stinking, rotting carcasses that apparently completely decomposed and didn't even leave a tooth behind, or a, or a shield, or a sword, or an arrowhead, or any goddamn thing. <sighs> if 
5. Behold, my father hath made this record, and he hath written the intent thereof. And behold, I would write it also, if I had room upon the plates, but I have not. And or I have none. He doesn't have any more gold. <laughs> They're almost out of gold. He's got other shit to write. And or I have none, for I am alone. My father hath been slain in battle, and all my kinfolk. And I have not friends, nor whither to go. And how long the Lord will suffer that I may live, I know not. He's like Robinson Crusoe. Primitive as can be. Six. Uh, yeah. Six. Behold, four hundred years have passed away since the coming of our Lord and Savior. It did good for a while. It just didn't last, you know, like all things, you know. The, it's a great buzz, and then it kind of just settles down, and then, yeah. See, JC should visit more often. I mean, come on, he almost never, he never visits. Never visited me. He's totally welcome. Just none of his representatives. Oh, yeah. Seven! And behold, the Lamanites have hunted my people. Lots of repetition. The Nephites down from city to city and from place to place. He does, he's running out of gold, you can tell. Even until they are no more, and great has been their fall. Yea, great and marvelous is the destruction of my people, the Nephites. It's like Adam in reverse. <laughs> Or was that Michael? Adam is Michael? I'm trying to fucking understand that one. Uh. Oh, yeah. Eight! And behold, it is the hand of the Lord which hath done it. And, also, and behold also, the Lamanites are at war one with another. And the whole face of this land is one continual round of murder and bloodshed and no one knoweth the end of the war. Know the feeling. Nine! And now, behold, I say no more concerning them, for there are none save it be Lamanites and robbers that do exist upon the face of the land. Ten. And there are none that do know the true God, save it be the disciples of Jesus, who did tarry in the land until the, until the wickedness of the people was so great that the Lord would not suffer them to remain with the people. And whither, whither they, whether they be upon the face of the land, no man knoweth. Nice record. 11. But behold, my father and I have seen them, and they have ministered unto us. And we get a bunch of uh, Inca jewelry, which doesn't prove a thing. So, gold breastplates for ceremonial. Pounded gold, not smelted. Yes, proof that they got steel fucking breastplates. Helmets, and armor of all kinds, shields and swords. Yeah, totally convincing. Here's some more evidence: pictures of llamas. That, that, you know, or that proves there were horses. 
Because, does it have, look like a horse? No. Nope. Uh-uh. And some uh, skull surgery, so that proves Mormonism. And let's see, bronze. Surgical instruments of bronze. Yeah, they didn't mix the metals up. They didn't, and they pounded the shit most of the time. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Some evidence there. It didn't really sway me very much, but interesting. All this shit is from, like, centuries after these events were supposed to have happened. Nothing from before. Twelve. And whoso readeth this record, and shall not condemn it because of the imperfections which are in it, the same shall know of greater things than these. So if you think this sucks, don't go any further. That's too bad. I'd like to read all that sealed shit so I can make fun of that too. But it, it's not. It's forbidden. Behold, I am Moroni, and were it possible, I would make all things known unto you. Thirteen. Behold. I make an end of speaking concerning this people. Taking your time in doing it there. I am the son of Mormon. We know! We've been reading! <laughs> and you said it before. Your father was slain in battle. Yeah. This is important shit. He's running out of gold. And he has no war, no friends. He's not running on at all. Okay, sorry. Um, where the fuck am I? Uh, Thirteen. Yeah. Behold, I make an end of speaking concerning this people. That's where I got my name. I am the son of Mormon, and my father was a descendant of Nephi. So thirteen is a throwaway verse. Fourteen. And I am the same who hideth up this record. <sighs> Unto the Lord, the plates thereof are of no worth, they're just some gold. Because of the commandment of the Lord. For he truly saith that no one shall have them to get gain. Precious gold plates. But the record thereof is of great worth, especially when you mass produce it. And whoso shall bring it to light, him the Lord will bless. We promise. After you're dead, all this great shit's going to happen. Somewhere in beyond the veil. Fifteen. Rewards. Fifteen. For none can have power to bring it to light, save it be given him of God. For God wills that it shall be done with an eye single to his glory, or the welfare of the ancient and long dispersed covenant people of the Lord. God, he's a good prophet. He just knows that I'm going to be reading this book right now. Gee, I guess I... That Scientology thing said, do you think a lecturer is talking directly to you? And I said, no. But if this guy's a prophet, he's talking to me for the dirt. Isn't that cool? Then again, so is Shakespeare. I mean, even if this is just from 1830s, uh, it's ancient by, from my point of view. Just less relevant than other ancient stuff. Still fun. Right. Sixteen! And blessed be he that shall bring this thing to light, for 
it shall be brought out of darkness unto light, according to the word of God, yea. It shall be brought out of the earth, and it shall shine forth out of darkness, and come unto the knowledge of the people. And it shall be done by the power of John. Step 17. And if there be faults, they be the faults of a man. Somebody will blame it on someone. But behold, we know no fault. Nevertheless, God knoweth all things. Therefore, he that commandeth, let him be aware, lest he shall be in danger of hellfire. Ah. <laughs> 18. And he that saith, Show unto me, or ye shall be smitten. Somebody said it to you? Wow, never thought of that before. Just kindly, please show me some evidence. I won't smack anybody. I promise. <sighs> totally lost my place, sorry. So unto me, or ye shall be smitten, let him beware, lest he commanded that which is forbidden of the Lord. So just smack him around, he won't tell. It's forbidden. Nineteen. For beyond, for, for, for behold, by the way, I don't endorse smacking anybody. Unless they request it. Well, anyway, uh, special occasions. Uh, 19. For behold, the same that judgeth rashly, rashly shall, be, shall be judged rashly again. So if you rush on the judgment, they're going to go, you know, don't take your time with this one. Fuck. Guilty. Done. Snap it. For according to his work shall his wages be. Only fair. Therefore, he that smiteth shall be smitten again of the Lord. So look out. 20. Behold, what the scripture says... Man shall not smite, neither shall he judge. For judgment is mine, saith the Lord, and vengeance is mine also. And I will repay, and I'll do the damn smiting. I just helped out there. 21. And he that shall breathe out wrath and strifes against the work of the Lord, and against the covenant people of the Lord, who are the house of Israel, this, and shall say, We will destroy the work of the Lord, and the Lord will not remember his covenant, which he hath made unto the house of Israel. The same is in danger to be hewn down and cast into the fire, all said before, he's got to say it, he's running out of gold, and this has all been said before. 22. Maybe he'll come up with something new here. I mean, he's all alone, he's running out of gold, he's got no friends, and he's got some, to limit his gold usage, and he seems to be failing at that. 22. 
for the eternal purposes of the Lord shall roll up, oh, roll on, shall roll on, you know, like, <laughs> roll on. Sounds like a Johnny Rivers song. Uh, until all his promises shall be fulfilled, they'll just keep rolling on. Yeah. Even another thousand years, you know, they'll just keep reinterpreting shit. Dragging stuff on and on and on. Pulling the emergency brake of progress the whole way. All right. 23. Search the prophecies of Isaiah. Yea, behold, I say unto you that those saints who have gone before me, who have possessed this land, shall cry, yea, even from the dust will they cry unto the Lord. And as the Lord liveth, he will remember the covenant which he hath made with them. 24. And he knoweth their prayers, and he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for kids. Better watch out. That they, he knoweth their prayers, and they were in behalf of their brethren. And he knoweth their faith, for in his name could they remove mountains. And in his name could they cause the earth to shake. Who's causing the earthquakes with their with their faith? Stop it. Because there's earthquakes happening somewhere right now. There's always an earthquake happening somewhere. I believe. Or almost always. At least. And by the power of his word did he cause prisons to tumble to the earth. Yea, even a fiery furnace could not harm them. Neither wild beast nor poisonous serpents because of the power of his word. So we're ripping off the additions to Mark, which are pretty much known to be a forgery, but they keep them anyway. Because it ends with the ladies running from the tomb after finding it empty and saying, telling no one. Just Mark. 25. And behold, their prayers were also in behalf of him that the Lord should suffer to bring these things forth. 26. And no one need say they shall not come, for they surely shall. For the Lord hath spoken it. For out of the earth shall they come by the hand of the Lord, and none can stay it, and it shall come in a day when it shall be said that miracles are done away. Well, in that case, I don't know when that is. They're still saying, saying shit like that. I mean, Christ on a cracker, Virgin Mary in a stucco pattern. A boner in the clouds. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, miracles are done away. And it shall come even as no one should as if no one should speak from the dead. Well, they still holding seances and shit, so twenty seven. And it shall come in a day when the blood of saints shall cry unto the Lord because of secret combinations and the works of darkness, which are uh, well, perpetual and continuous, and time keeps slipping into the future. It's always the last days, and it's getting kind of old. Hurry up and happen, or get over it. Fucking move on with with living and shit. You know what? 
God damn it, I'm going to finish this in another video. He's running out of gold, but he won't shut up, and he hasn't said his fucking new thing yet. So, I will see you guys in uh, verse 27 of uh, Mormon 8. Stay tuned, or peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And bye. Or stay tuned. Like anyone made it this one.